This is a quick weekly video update, going to cover a few things that are pressing in the fish house. Um, John and I are gonna pop back and forth a little bit here, but for starters, uh, we had an incident at headquarters. Uh, it was actually with the kitchen on Saturday of this past week. They had a tip drawer stolen. Um, this is the second time it's happened within a short month span. Um, but the biggest thing with that guys, uh, just wanted to mention this in terms of tips and product really. Um, the biggest thing is really your guys' safety with this issue. Um, of course, people that are willing to do something like this, I would have to imagine would be on the more desperate side of things. Um, so you really wanna be situationally aware and smart and not doing anything that could potentially get yourself hurt. Um, you don't know how the other person would react. So what we did is we followed this uh, customer out into the parking lot and uh, tried to apprehend him ourselves a bit, it seems, but we really don't wanna do that. Um, at the end of the day, we are going to make it right in-house. Um, you know, the best thing to do would be go ahead and alert a leader right away. And what we would most likely do with course of action would be to uh, call some authorities that could help us out in that situation. Um, you know, if someone is like has some crab legs and they're maybe they're hanging out by the door, you know, it's probably okay to ask if you've been rung up for something under that kind of situation. But for the most part, just be situationally aware. Uh, yeah. So with that being said, um, you know, just at team wise, uh, we want to make sure that we're also putting emphasis on, you know, securing your own personal belongings. So um, there's obviously no lockers or anything like that. So we want to make sure that uh, we are keeping um, our personal objects on our on our being or, you know, in our car or uh, on our, you know, I guess, in our bags or so, something like that. There are, you know, vendors and uh, other fishermen and, and other people uh, on the team that are kind of, you know, all throughout the building. So um, although we, we trust everybody, we want to, you know, just kind of play it safe and make sure that we are, um, you know, I guess, uh, keeping track of our stuff so that nothing gets stolen or lost. Um, and we kind of kind of can avoid uh, getting uh, getting anybody, I don't know, into that situation. But um, so yeah, keep it, on, keep it on yourself or keep it in your car is probably the best bet. Um, after that, I guess going on after that basically is uh, just like you know, debit card stuff. Uh, so when we're ringing up customers, um, our preferred uh, form of payment right now is gonna be uh, you know, using debit if we can. Um, if, if, a, if a customer is uh, is kind of you know leaning on whether they want to use credit or debit, it's uh, it's best to opt with uh, with our with debit use mainly because there is a, a pretty large um, expense or fees that we have to pay. When we are using a lot of credit, so it helps out the company. Um, you know, saving money is, is definitely a big deal. So the more we can uh, we can use debit, the better. Uh, this past week, we launched a new program off of Seven Shifts called Seven Tasks. Um, take the time to give it a try. Uh, we've had some small success this past week uh, in the 1515 retail, we were having issues with leaving sinks dirty, not getting ice fast filled up all the way, not icing shrimp at the end of the night. Well, the app requires you to like take a picture of certain things or just a checkbox, but we haven't had that problem in this particular environment since we've launched it. Um, you know, over time it can be edited to make better. So we want you guys to continue to give feedback so that way we can um, continuously manipulate this to make it the best way we can possibly uh, make it for our own use. And it's just another way for us to help uh, our trend of going paperless. Awesome, so uh, next uh, big thing to uh, reiterate is slowing down at the checkout. Um, we want to make sure that we're we're helping or we're being honest with the customer, reading back what they're what they're paying for, uh, reading back their order, and everything is uh, kind of nice and organized on our side of things. This goes for any location that we have. Uh, things can get a little bit uh, hectic when we're checking out customers, so it's definitely best to slow it down, take a second, um, especially when there's many customers in line, and make sure that we're getting them the their uh, their product that they're ordering that they want. And um, it's it's super easy just to read back an order real fast. And um, although, you know, at all the other stations where we're cutting, we're bagging up stuff, we want to be as quick and efficient as possible. Uh, efficiency at the checkout counter is, is keeping it organized and, and kind of taking your time. So that's the best bet when it comes to that. Um, nextly is, uh, or next is, is kind of lending a training hand to some of the new folks. We got a lot of uh, new faces coming around the shops. So um, 
it's good for everyone to to advance your own self as well as get yourself um, kind of your own personal training by by helping out a lot of a lot of the new uh, the new faces in the uh, on the team. So you know, making sure that they're doing the right thing and they know what to do is, is super important, and it, it kind of it uh, it helps you look good as well. So you know, if, if you're trying to get some more hours or or be on the team a little bit longer, kind of it kind of helps advance you uh, as well. So you know, uh, we want to make sure we're training up those guys uh, to the best of our ability. Um, we've also been having a few issues with our end of day bank deposits, um, tickets not matching up uh, come Monday when we do our deposits, uh, particularly at CB and Market Street have been our two biggest issues as of late. Um, for CB particularly, we really want to make sure you guys are logging your tips, which you've already done a better job at this past weekend. Uh, please continue to do so. Uh, Jesse has a, a, a accounting sheet for the ILM stands. Make sure you guys are doing that. And if the uh, ticket is over or under at the end of the night when you're doing the deposit, don't just write over or under automatically a certain amount. Do take a few moments to do some troubleshooting steps and try to figure out what the what went wrong there. Um, another thing down at CB uh, we want to start getting better at is pricing out all the tackle that we have. Uh, for one, if we have it on inventory and it's in the uh, in the chest or in the storage box outside, rather. It's not going to get sold to customers. We want to maximize our opportunity by one, making sure it's displayed. And number two, of course, uh, the price label gun that we have, we want to try to get everything labeled. This is going to be a team effort beyond the guys that are just assigned to tackle. Um, similar to spices, we want to make sure we're checking on that when we have downtime. Um, another thing that's kind of coming back into play as the seasons change is like the importance on our own personal health. Um, of course, you guys should be taking vitamin D, going outside. Um, but the biggest thing for us is we are not Walmart. Uh, our team's getting pretty big now, but each individual venue only has a certain amount of people that work there on a daily, weekly basis. So we need to do our best to communicate, uh, like alert your manager if you are start, if you believe that you're not going to be there. And we also need to confirm that up, and we need to help try to find our own coverages. Um, communication is the most important thing and we'll need a doctor's note if you actually are out sick. Um, with, a, with the current resurgence, um, there's a couple places you can go to get rapid testing done. If you are in a more uh, urgent need of results, uh, urgent care can do it within about 15 minutes and then Walgreens uh, can typically get it within a couple hours for results. So uh, really lastly is just um, importance on availability. So with school coming back up, uh, we want to make sure that we are updating our availability, which can be done at basically, um, you know, as early as you want to do it. Um, so you can, can you, put, you can put your availability in for school, for vacations coming up for holidays, uh, really as far as in advance as you want. But um, you have to make sure that that gets in as at the latest, the Wednesday of the week before. So 5 p.m. up Wednesday of the week before, it'd be the latest that you can put in your availability. So don't slack on that. It is important that we are, we're we helping everybody out by getting that in there so we can get the schedules out on time and uh, that everything can be accurate. We don't have to switch anything around last minute. Um, so uh, make sure that we're getting that done. And then also um, um, really just, you know, the summer is uh, is coming to an end. So we wanna make sure that we're finishing up strong. Uh, we got a couple weeks left. We got. Uh, you know, some, some still some tourists coming into all the locations, so make sure that we're hooking them up and, and getting them to come back next year. Um, and then obviously just uh, make sure that we're, we're having the best customer service that we can have and, and get, the, get the people in and out happy and uh, good to go. All right. Cool. Appreciate Thank all you guys tuning in. Yep.